Okay, Nick Dutch here yet again, still going through my little journey of the 13 principles of wisdom and belief. And we're just carrying on. And just to quickly recap, I mean, this is the seventh video I've done. We're about to tackle the sixth principle of wisdom and belief as written down in 1974. Okay. <clears throat> What's fascinating for me personally is that I've gone, I've gone, I personally have gone through one, two, three, four, and five. So you know we're approaching the halfway mark, and already I've seen um, a great deal of understanding in these first five principles, which relate directly to me and relate directly to my life, and that I have a very strong sense of agreement with and acknowledgement with. You know. And this, and I'm someone who does not consider himself to be a Wiccan. But up to number five, you know, it's it's looking very promising. But not because I am trying to convert to Wicca. But because these things, when analyzed to sufficient depth, and not seeing the meanings of the words on face value but actually expanding the meaning sufficiently so you get a more all-embracing understanding as to what it's talking about actually makes sense. Okay, so number six. It says here, we do not recognize any authoritarian hierarchy, hmm. but do honor those who teach, respect those who share their greater knowledge and wisdom, and uh, acknowledge those who have courageously given themselves in leadership. <coughs> Now, that's fascinating in its own right straight away, because it's, there's nothing in number six, which is, sorry, principle number six, which is talking directly about respecting people who are in religion. At all. It says, we do not recognize any authoritarian hierarchy. That would also imply that you don't have to recognize any authority which is laid upon you. So that could even mean you can go against these principles if you so wished and saw, and saw fit. But do honor those who teach. Fine. You don't, you don't have to love your teacher. I, I hated my teachers in school. Respect those who share their greater knowledge. Well, you can have respect for them. You don't have to like them. You certainly don't have to love them. Uh, sorry, respect those who share their greater knowledge and wisdom. All right, now wisdom is different to knowledge. All right, um, I can have wisdom about doing some some variety of skill, which might be different from the knowledge of a person who has studied that skill from the outside. And acknowledge those who have courageously given themselves in leadership. Okay, so I can acknowledge and respect my prime minister or the President of the United States of America. Again, I don't have to admire them. I don't have to love them. So again, we've got another principle, which is number six. We're, we're almost at that halfway mark, uh, which I actually have some agreement with. Uh, if someone turned around to me and says, you are not obeying number six because you're not respecting your common leader, I would probably hate them. Because if there was a common leader or whoever uh, who was trying to force their views into me, I personally would rebel against that. And also, that would go against the first part of the sentence before the comma, which says, we do not recognize any authoritarian hierarchy. Okay? Um, so there's also an opportunity within the sixth principle to turn around to someone and say, no, I'm not listening. So although it's suggesting respect, it's not suggesting you have to obey. <clears throat> so, you know, this is fascinating. Number six, I'm in agreement with it. I'm in agreement with one, two, three, four, five, and six so far. Oh, yeah, part of my mind is saying, okay, well, watch out for the one you don't agree with, but I haven't yet come across that one yet. But I'm enjoying this little journey. It's fun. You know, I'm amusing myself right, going through this. And hopefully you're getting some pleasure through seeing the way in which I'm starting to recognize 
that there is some wisdom here. What I'm, what I'm not seeing so far is anything which separates these Wiccan principles from just useful ideas that normal people use in their day-to-day -day lives. That's what I'm not seeing here. So I'm not really, so, so far, I'm not seeing anything which separates these principles of Wiccan belief from normal life. Anyway, I'm going to go on to number seven. I'm going to stop the camera now and go on to the next one and give you another round of video, so to speak. Speak to you in a minute.